You're in the trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics, and we're talking position groups for the Cincinnati Bengals on that 53-man roster that is still in a little bit of flux, but probably not too much as we close in on the September 12th opener. Let's talk linebacker. This is the youngest position on the football team. There's no question about it. The old blood is Jordan Evans. He's only going into his fifth season. Jordan Evans out of uh, out of Oklahoma is a guy that can do a lot of things for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's got some position versatility with the, his ability to play the run, come downhill, play the run. For his size, he's got good size-speed ratio. He can run and, and be involved in the, in the passing game. He's a good blitzer. He's a big special teams performer for Darren Simmons, one of the core members of Darren Simmons' special teams group. So Jordan Evans is uh, – is is the 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 sage the the wise old man that the young linebackers are are going to for some some uh, instruction and some help in the National Football League, even though he's only going into his fifth season. It's crazy. Jermaine Pratt going into his third year, another linebacker that has uh, great tangibles and intangibles in terms of his physical assets. I mean, he's got some size. He's got really good speed. He understands coverages. He understands leverage. He understands how to undercut routes. Um, he does a good job of reading quarterbacks' eyes, and he's another one that is not bashful about coming downhill and making plays in the running game. And uh, uh, they're, they're coached by Al Oliver, who does an outstanding job coaching these young linebackers and, and bringing them uh, up to speed in the National Football League and growing them on a day-by-day -day basis in terms of understanding what the league is going to try to do when they attack the linebacker position. And then the big three, the young bloods, going into their second season. Uh, the Bengals drafted three linebackers last year, really addressed that position last year, didn't address the linebacker position in the draft or free agency uh, this season. But I still think that this group could have maybe the most improvement of any uh, roster position that wasn't addressed <laughs> in free agency or the draft. Logan Wilson out of Wyoming is, is a guy that is, is a very talented football player, has played in this in the secondary as a as a high schooler. I think he even played quarterback in high school. He was the punter. He was the place kicker. He was the all American hero in his high school. Um, and then he goes to Wyoming and, and initially starts in the back end, but then continues to train, get bigger, grows grows into his body. They move him to the linebacker position. So here's a guy that really really does understand in terms of schematics and. Um, linebackers and safeties, how they interact in terms of coverages, where leverage is, where your help is, how, how the leverage of coverages is, is working, uh, route combinations in the National Football League, understanding what, what they're trying to do with, with specific route combinations, what they're trying to uncover, what they're trying to unfold. So um, he has a tremendous understanding of that type of thing. Plus, he's, uh, he's big enough to, to, to make plays in, in the running game. Very good blitzer. If they want to blitz him inside, he can. He'll hit that gap in a hurry. He's got quick acceleration. He's got some suddenness to him, some explosiveness. Plus, he's he's calling the plays. He's the guy that has the green dot on his helmet. He's the guy that has the communication device uh, in his helmet. Who will be dealing with Luana Rumo as plays are being called. So he's very very uh, integral and um, and important in the communication that goes on between the linebackers and secondary in terms of the passing game, linebackers and defensive linemen in terms of stunts and twists and things like that that might go on in the in the running game and, and in a pass rush from a blitzing standpoint. So Logan Wilson's got a, a big, big responsibility with this football team. Akeem Davis-Gaither is is another really athletic linebacker, and he can, he can run with just about anybody at the linebacker position. A big factor also in Darren Simmons' special teams uh, play. He's going to be a core player there. He'll be playing all the teams for, for Darren Simmons, and he was a course player there last year. But he, he'll be involved. He'll be out there in nickel packages uh, when we want extra linebackers out there on the football field. He's uh, outstanding uh, in coverage, and he has a great understanding for how to handle that aspect of, of the National Football League. And it's not like he can't play the run. He can definitely do that. Uh, another linebacker that has you know just out, outstanding overall athleticism. I think as a group, this linebacker position has about as much athleticism as anybody in the National Football League. And then finally, Marcus Bailey out of Purdue. Uh, Marcus Bailey battled an injury all last year and uh, and never never really probably felt 100%. But now that you've had a full offseason to recover, Marcus Bailey's a playmaker. 
Marcus Bailey flashed in the preseason this year. Marcus Bailey got his hand on a lot of footballs, and, uh, and he almost he almost came up with uh, deflected passes uh, in terms of interceptions. So Marcus Bailey has a nose for the football. He's a playmaker, um, and, and I think that's going to carry over in, in the National Football League. Also, another guy that has is, is got special teams ability with uh, with his size and his speed. Darren Simmons is going to utilize him big time on special teams as well, which you would anticipate from the linebacker position. Um, but Darren Simmons always looks at linebackers as, as contributors in every single one of these young linebackers. Uh, again, the oldest being five years going into their fifth year in the NFL, second year to fifth year. All of these guys are in the really uh, key part of their career. I mean, they're just starting to come into their own. And uh, it's going to be fun to watch these guys grow as football players. There's no doubt about it. Hi, Dave Lapham here. Have you heard about In the Trenches with Dave Lapham presented by First Star Logistics? Catch new episodes from the world of sports and broadcasting. Search for In the Trenches with Dave Lapham on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.